Hey everyone, Edgy Berserker here with Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we're heading out to the Coral Mountains. I'm just gonna move my mic a little closer. <laughs> so I have Red 13 and Tifa back on the team. Everyone's just kind of leveled up-ish, which is nice. Um, I made everyone get up to about level 20-ish. Um, my goal was 25, but then I'm like, ah, I gotta get a bunch of recording done. <laughs> so I made that uh, decision that, you know, was best. Now uh, Red's powerful, a few of my materials leveled up, I got some new materia, so you know what, we're good. We are good. I did realize I missed some um, little cutscenes and shit. Last one, but I can't go back because I legit just bestowed on them. <laughs> Yuffie probably hates me because I didn't give her that, uh, tranquilizer. Oops. Uh, what can you do? Anyways, that looks like where we need to be. I'm not getting even bother with this guy. Barely gives you any levels. He just kind of sits here looking like a Matrushka doll. Yeah, no point. I was actually leveling up along the coastline because then you fought these things. Oh. Oh. Leveling up around the coastline because then you fought these things that actually, like, gave you shit. Oh. I thought I was going the right way. Well, poop. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh no, I was in the right spot. Never mind, there's a cave here. Howdy. <laughs> All right. Oh, hi, sir. Whew. Hey, you're actually talking to me. What is it? I uh, just passed a gun, a black kit back there. Just tried to tell him that it's dangerous up ahead and he ignored me. Sephiroth. Let's hurry on. Hmm. I'm moving on ahead. Let's do it. Wow, I forgot how a lot of this was actually chasing Sephiroth and finding where this asshole was. <laughs> That's actually really fascinating, though. Oh, what are these? Well, it's not like I can actually, you know, steal from them, because I actually am letting Yuffie keep the steel function. Thunder kiss! Now oh, we gotta fight these little polygonal monstrosities. Man, I am starting to remember a bunch of scenes in this game. Like, wow, I didn't realize how much of it I forgot about. I only remember, like, the main scenes, you know? Um, and yeah. Damn. I level- Ice just leveled up. Guys, Ice leveled up. <laughs> I just forgot so much about this game, though, and it's kind of a shame that I have, but at the same time, it's making this playthrough way more enjoyable, too. Oh. Oh my. That's a Mako reactor, y'all. Wow. I forgot a lot about this friggin' game. It's amazing how much you remember and forget about. Actually, I should do some healing. Something about this music! I didn't realize how nostalgic it was. Holy fuck. So much about this game I forgot about. Oh, Corrado. Get back up there. I might have an item, that's why. Okay, we're good. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. We'll check. <laughs> oh shit, that's a bomb. Uh, we'll attack. We can just ice them. <laughs> now we have ice too. Ah, that's exciting. Okay, we're gonna check up here first, make sure. 
that's a safe point. I can save there. Let's do it. Okay. I feel like I need to actually go down under first. Now let's go down under. I, I might be missing items down there, which I should actually check. Over there looks like progress. Oh, those big chickens. Do, do, do. Now, I think the big flaw of this version, though, is that the overworld music doesn't, um, doesn't stay. Oh, shit. Ooh, that's a petrify that just hit. Okay. I think he should be okay now, I hope. Okay. It's up here. Could check up up, up here? Oh. Get a nice view of the disgusting Mako reactor. Okay, that's cool. You actually see the part that leads to the Mako reactor there. That's really slick detail, honestly. God, just the up. <laughs> I know I keep talking about how much I forgot about things. Like, you gotta keep in mind, I haven't played this since it first came out. And you know what? Me playing this, I know everyone's making jokes about the remake and that. It legit is actually making me excited to play the remake. Like, for real. I know it's not gonna be exact, I understand that completely, but damn. I'm super stoked! <laughs> oh my god, there's stuff over here. Oh yeah. Cause I came from there, duh. No, ed edgy, go back up, you hot mess. Edgy, stop jumping. This game wasn't meant for the analog sticks, so some stuff's a little left up in the controls, funny enough. We're okay. Okay, let's continue. Bop. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Press X to jump. Oh. I just totally cocked that up. Hell? I don't remember this shit. What is this shit? Star Pennant and Eris Wizard Staff. Oh! Oh, there's a thing up there. Check it out. <laughs> Okay, let's just make this easy on all of us and bolt that thing right now. Let's fire these motherfuckers. Let's do that. I like that the all got updated and I have a few alls now. Hey, I'm keeping some of these fights in because you know what? It'd be boring not to see some of these. And of course, because of the whole petrified thing, I'm a little terrified, you know? I'm terrified. It's fine, it's fine. I got another soft. There we go. Yeah, fall! Okay, I can get that treasure. Oh, it gives me two chances. That's nice. Hopefully, I got the withered staff. Then, Eris is locked and loaded. Oh, star pendant. I got a machine gun. That's kind of cool. My guards now cloud can actually jump. 
Damn, I missed out on that. Oh well. What can you do? Sigh. Oh yes. No! Why did I jump? Ah, I fucked up. Oh well. No big deal. You know, it's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Okay. Hold on, I see some people at the below. I'm gonna talk to the below. Hey, everyone. Cloud! I was just wishing you were here. Unless someone lets down the bridge, we're stuck. I should be able to do something. Let's take a breather first. The shack is here. Okay then, let's move on. So basically, I could change my party there. I'm bummed out about that item. Like, I could just restart, you know, because I did save, but who wants to do that? <laughs> I like how Eris is always like, oh, Cloud can do it. Here's about everyone else. Everyone else can fuck off. Oh, Cloud, good luck! Ow! Sure is tight in here. Come on, Cloud, don't let this get to you. Let's see. This is it? Maybe I've turned this. Let's see what should happen. What we do. Oh, yay. Everyone was able to get by. Good for them. Whoa, I think I started climbing something there. I should check that out. I heard something up here. Let's check it out! Aww! Oh, cute! I think he wants to eat them. What should we do? We're gonna leave it where it is. It's not nothing to do with this. Just forget about it. Right. That's so admirable, admirable of you. Ugh. Yep. Red wants to eat them boids. Of course, I knew that because, you know, I'm using the strategy book and I knew that I wouldn't get any uh, points and I'd have to slaughter the birds. And basically, it's just 10 phoenix down, who cares? <laughs> oh, I was wasting my time going over there. Oh, well. Backtracking. I'll cut back to when I'm down at the bridge. I cross the bridge. Now I gotta fight these bastards again, which is fine because I have fire too. I have a lot of stuff that I actually updated, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that was actually smarto. Though using the ice chew on it was probably dumb, but whatever. This will fight quick. Just won the battle. Okay, cool. I'm getting lots of gold from this too, which is fab. Alrighty. Let's go, team. Ooh, that looks very intimidating. Ugh. The teeth is getting flashbacks from Nibelheim. <laughs> Remember when I said that bridge was sturdy? Man, I regret that. <laughs> Probably could use a nice servant. Eh. Getting a no big boy, isn't he? Yeah, that's fine. The light the lightning bolt. <laughs> 
Yeah, I probably won't be using this team for a bit because we've seen a lot of them. And plus, they're also getting up there in the levels for sure. Which is fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a lot of battles here. Aren't I? Jesus. That took out a lot. Oh my lordy. Nikolai stocked up on potions. I uh, probably could use an ether on her anyways. It's fine. Now that rumbling is... Oh my god. Come on, Cloudo. Oh, what's this place? Whoa! Well, looky here, I never thought I'd see your face again. They kick you out of the town or something? You destroy everything you touch. You got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place, it's all your fault, North Carl turned in a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Or did you forget you're done here already? I'm sorry. Fuck, you ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to the techno freak. The hell? Hey, remember when I said I don't remember things? Yeah. Stuff's happening. What's up, Barrett? You heard him. It's my fault this town was destroyed. Oh, Barrett. Don't listen to those chunguses. You know who's responsible for North Cor Corral winding up like this. What? Get out of the way. The only way you can make ends meet around here now is collecting junk. What do you want to buy? I want to buy. Transform magic. I gotta check that out, actually. Here's frog. You're small, so I'm petrified. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of that. I forgot frog was a thing. You know, I get surprised by certain things. I didn't realize sadness was a status effect either. Transform. I got one of those materials earlier, actually. I should actually check out what that is. Oh, mini toad and all that. Okay, that's transform. I don't, I don't need another one of those. But I can, I'll listen to his story. Take that road to the left to the ropeway station. Ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. Don't mean much to us poor folks, though. Please buy something. Anything will do. Oh, God. These poor people. They are desperate. Here, I'll buy a potion and three tents. How's that? Sound good. How about you? Want to survive? Then you're gonna need some of my weapons. Have those. I have one of those. Yeah, dude, I have all the stuff. I'll get a Molotov cocktail off you, though. It's fine. Here, it's a big fad now that the city to get tattoos. Is that right? I want to know. Really? I saw a big one on the arm of the young guy heading towards the ropeway. That Blake Capey had was really cool! Oh. Interesting. Welcome, it's 50 Gill of Night. Would you like a room? Yes, I would. Enjoy your stay. You know what? Fuck it. Let's support their economy. I'm sure Barrett's not really to blame for this shit, but you know. To support their economy out of guilt, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're heading towards the Golden Saucer. Bye, I guess. Barrett, what happened? Sorry. What happened? 
My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? It's... And it's all my fault. All my fault. Oh, my hometown. Crowell's always been a coal mining town. Maybe dusty and poor, but it's calm. Ah, oh, damn it. It's the real first time I ever heard Mako Reactor mentioned since then. What are we going to do? The only one opposed to this is Dine. I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing you can talk about if you're thinking of throwing away our coal. Coal's been ours for generations. Our fathers and theirs before them risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dane. No use. There's no uses for coal nowadays. There's signs of the time. Right. Oh wait. Right. Everything is Miko now. It'll be all right, Dane. Shinra Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Miko reactor is complete. Listen, Dine. I don't want my wife, Marna, Myrna, to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Dine, you've got to understand. Oh, Jesus. That's how Coral's reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. Shit. It happened when Dine and I were out of town for a few days. We're all burned down by the Shinra troops. All the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. Jesus Christ. Shinra troops? What for? There was an explosion at the reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people, said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true. But the more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along to building the reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. That's why... That's why I got so pissed off. Not only did they take advantage of me, I lost my wife Marna too. Hey everyone, if you want to go the gold saucer, hurry and get on. Ride the way, put ro ropeway. Yeah. Let's get on. That sucks, Barrett. Dine was my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. I never knew. Barrett never said a thing. Huh. Hmm. I'm not sympathizing with Barrett. He should have never trusted Shenra Inc. My god. Huh. We better get on. And away we go! That's so fucking sad, oh my god. Oh. On the ropeway we go. Where we stop, no one knows. Okay, we're going to the gold saucer. Holy shit. Well, that most definitely is a uh, <laughs> amusement park. Damn. 
I always have this theory that all the Final Fantasies are different points of time in history on that world. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go! Welcome to the gold, welcome to the gold saucer! Hi. Welcome to the gold saucer. If you're together, single pass of 3,000 gil, or you can purchase a lifetime pass for 30,000. Oh, I wish I had the 30,000. I'll have to do the 3,000. If you leave the gold saucer, your tickets become invalid. God damn. You're at the gold saucer, there are many places where you can play with GP. Just think of GP as money. You can only use at the gold saucer. GP can only be redeemed at the games in the Wonder Square and the Chocobo Racing. Your GP limit is 10,000, so please be careful. Please enjoy yourselves. Okay. Wow, let's have fun. I know this isn't the right time to do this with Barrett's tragic backstory and all. <laughs> hey Barrett, cheer up. I ain't in a cheery mood, so just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go. Wasn't that a little harsh, Eris? Just act normal when this happens. You think so? Of course. We're gonna go play. So play, mess around all you want. Don't forget we're after Seth Ross. I think he's mad. He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. With me? No. <laughs> you want to go with me? Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, okay. Okay, who am I gonna go in the gold saucer with? Because I feel like I want to have Barret with me, but now, you know, Barret ain't here. So, um, I'm gonna have a look here. I'll cut back when I'm done. Okay, so I, have, I gotta pick one person to come with me. And the truth of the matter is, because I read ahead of my thing, I'm gonna have certain party members. We're gonna go together with Eris. Why not? Okay, let's go to the... Event Square, Speed Square, uh... Ghost Square. Let's go to the Ghost Square. <laughs> like ghosts. Let's check it out. Ooh, spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down my spine. Welcome. Thank you for coming to Ghost Hotel. Ugh. For reservations, please step up the counter. Ugh. That's fucking adorable. Ah! The ghost fucking waved at me. That's so great. Uh, materia? Shit. I can't unequip. Ugh, fuck me. Okay, it's fine. I'll put the fire on her. <laughs> at least. Okay, so I need a save point of some sort then so I can unequip stuff. Or I could just go back and... There we go. Yeah, okay, I know what I need to do. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's what we do. I can do the same with red, and we're all good. Okay, now we're back. Okay, now we check out the ghost thing. Yeah, we're gonna go up here. Hi, the most popular employee, Mr. Hangman. 
Welcome. Yeah, let's stay the night. Uh, you don't have enough GP. Okay, so I gotta earn GP in the arcade games, don't I? Fine! I will do that. <laughs> That's the battle square. That's the wonder square. Let's go to the wonder square. I think that's the arcade games. Oh! Hey you! What are you looking at for down for? I can try to mimic the Scottish accent, so I'm really sorry if this sounds bad. <laughs> How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future, happy future. Oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come through. Oh, sorry. I'm a fortune-telling machine. The name's Kate Seath. You can only read the future. Are you kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. You can tell me where a man named Sephiroth is. Sephiroth, right? Okay, here it goes. Huh? Ordinary luck. It will become an active future. Give into the goodwill of others and something big will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Huh? Let me try again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue? Get it. Wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try again. <laughs> Stop humping the air! Oh my god! What the? What? What you pursue, pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's a good or a bad. This will be the first time I forgot to go out something like this. Then shall we? What are you talking about? Being a fortune teller, it's gonna bug me. If I don't see how it turns out, it'll never be able to relax. So, I'm going to go with you. What are we gonna do, Cloud? I'm coming with you, whether you no matter what you say. Hey! Okay. Oh, uh, hi, Kate Sith. Thanks for imposing. Manipulate and transform. Crazy. Okay. So we could throw some stuff on him now. Just to kind of, you know. Get him all ready. We'll give him Chocomod 2. All with some ice. Yes. Good. Alright. Well, okay. Let's check out the. Okay, we came to the event square. What about you? They probably told you that the entrance, but most of the attractions in the gold saucer take GP. They don't sell GP, you can only get them from the Wonder Square games or at the Chocobo races. Okay, thank you. Hi. Well, I guess we're going up to the Wonder Square. We're gonna do some mini games, y'all. You have zero GP. Change your GP for prizes now. <laughs> super dog. Let's try the super dog. Good job, Clap. Fucked up. No. <laughs> okay. Try it. Oh, uh, my opponent will be a sumo wrestler. What I need to do? Do I have to button tap? Okay. <sighs> you win. Receive one GP. Wow, I could probably grind at that. That'd take forever. What's this? Sure do need a lot of money here. 
You sure do need a lot of money here. Okay, that's just people. Yeah, probably. Let's check out the other arcade games. Here we go. I'm gonna be the wind again today. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, this, this seems to be out of order. 3D Battler. Okay, high tech mid low. Okay, try it. <laughs> Is this Ergies? God bless the ring. Yep, this is here, guys. God bless the ring. This fighting game doesn't have much technique, y'all. Cloud doesn't even have a Hadouken. What a bastard. Yeah! Kicked your ass. Oh. <laughs> well, hey there, big boy. Huh. Well, huh. I think it's safe to say that I think I might have to go on to, you know, the next episode. I got my ass kicked at the 3D shitty fighting game, but hey, still better than fighting eyes. Don't worry about me, go ahead and play. Where are you, Moghouse? Try it. Yeah, okay. Um, oh. Fuck this. Hold on. Before I call it, this is Mog's house. It's in the Mog Forest at Mount Mog. Beginning another day for the life of Mog. Look at that drunk fuck. This year, Mog is a pin up a popo years old. Wow. <laughs> That's 28 in human years. He's at the age where he should be looking for a mate. Oh, Jesus. It's one of those hentai games. But before a mog can become an adult, he needs to learn how to fly. I don't like that the Honey Bee Inn music is playing right now. Even though the mog trains hard every day, he still can't seem to get off the ground. Seriously, why is the Honey Bee Inn song playing? That's... Oh... He needs a mate? Y'all, come on. We don't need mog porn in this life. It's like he's still got a long way to go. Is where you come in. Help mog learn to fly by pressing X and feeding him his favorite Koopo nut. But don't overfeed him. He won't be able to fly because he's too fat. Have a Koopo nut, idiot. I think three should be enough. Okay, I'm done giving him nuts. Now what? Go fly, idiot. Oops. <laughs> That's what happens when you press the wrong button, y'all. Huh. So it won't let me hit anything but X? Oh, it seems like Mog decided to take another shot at it. This game's rigged. He did it! He's flying! Now he can finally be able to become a full-fledged Mog. Now you get to watch a graphic one-hour scene of a Mog and a Mog meeting. <laughs> That's a lame game. Tired of a relax, our little Mog turns up the lights and goes to bed. Good night and sweet dreams. Oh, what's this? Here comes a female mog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, 
Hey, let's go out. <laughs> Seems like he likes her. Now, will Mog be able to fly gracefully in front of her? Help him out with a few Koopo nuts. Have a nut, idiot. <laughs> This game seems pretty rigged. It's like you can't escape out and all that shit unless you do this shit. I try to end the episode, but then here I am stuck with these Koopo nuts. Yeah, it doesn't really let you do anything until you fucking finish here. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and wait for a minute. Okay. Oh, it seems like Mog decided to take another shot at it. Idiot. Fortunately, he didn't make it. Poor Mog will have to wait some time for a bride. No. I- no, Mog. Mog, you don't know. You don't get any tail. We don't get treated to graphic Mog sex. Sorry, guys. Poor Mog will be alone for a while. But get used to it and learn to love yourself. I should say, like, no fighting. That's too funny. That's so caught up in these. Man, this guy's hogging the good game. So is that guy. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, so, next episode, we're gonna play more mini games and we're gonna go find Barrett. So. Sedgy Berserker signing off in this edition of Final Fantasy VII. Next episode, see y'all later. Bye now.